goal is, say, to grow the population, for instance, you know, which again would sort of help big business and big government and, and big universities. It's telling, isn't it, that Labor is not playing the long game on this, like tax incentives, say, for women to have more children. I think the, there was the president of Hungary was saying recently they have massive tax, con tax concessions over there. If, you, uh, if you're a woman and you have four or more children, then you are exempt from paying income tax for life, uh, which is, I think, a pretty incredible policy. Why are they not going with those kind of family-friendly um, pro-birth policies? Why is this just massive immigration? Well, the left wing of the Labor Party is effectively, you know, the old-fashioned communist Marxist party. They hate families. I mean, their idea, of, their view of the world is that the government uh, is your family and mm. that the government will decide what's best for you. I mean, obviously, that's in contrast to you know, what I consider the true Liberal Party, you know, it's well known that Robert Menzies mentions the word home 23 times in the Forgotten People speech. Uh, and that is what, you know, my view is, you know, that, that family's everything to me. Mm. Uh, you know, I had a period there in my 20s where it was more grog and travelling and, and getting rich, but, you know, now that I'm older, <laughs> you know, it keeps me uh, grounded. Um, but, no, the Labor Party aren't interested in growing the family. And here's the thing, as working conditions and living conditions and the cost of living and all these conditions get harder, people are less inclined to have have children. Mm -hmm. So, of course, it becomes a self-defeating purpose. On the one hand, they're saying we've got a skill shortage, which we do because of the button plan in 1985 that effectively destroyed manufacturing in this country. Uh, we do have a skill shortage, but the best way to overcome that skill shortage would be actually redistribute some of our children who go to university and don't need to back into the actual, um, you know, the, the skilled sector of, you know, carpentry, mechanics, et cetera, et cetera. Um, so that's that's the better way of doing it. But, of course, if they did it that way, then there'd be less people going to university and there'd be less people in the population so the big corporates couldn't make as much money. Well, exactly. I, I mean, as, as we know, Labor must love people going to university nowadays because they, they, they churn out these lefty voters who either vote for Labor or the Greens and, of course, their preferences go to Labor, whereas the working class tends to be, has, you know, demographically lent more conservative over over the last uh, few years. So, yes, it makes total sense they want more people to, to go to university. 